Five Ps. Once upon a time, there lived five little peas in a pea pod. They were all different, but still living together as the pea pod was still closed. They were too small to bear with the sun. They used to sleep all day, but at night they used to talk each other and listen to the music around them, especially the music of the moon. The moon, when crescent, used to tie some silver strings to its ends. It used to play the harp and sing some beautiful songs for the peas. At the times of full moon, it used to play drums. The peas would wake up listening to the loud drums played by the moon. But every pea has its own reaction to the moon's music. I love this sound of drums. Boom, boom, boom. I love this music. I love its castanets. It's soothing. I like the way it plays the harp. It's very beautiful. So melodious. Oh, why can't there be some quiet time? Forget the music. I love to sleep as much as I can. Just go with the flow of life. The fourth P was very lazy. It loved to sleep all the time. The fifth and the youngest P was very different from the other four. I love all kinds of music: the castanets, the drums, and the harp too. Each one of them is special and makes me happy when I listen to them. The peas were growing day by day. They didn't realize it until they were fully grown. Now they felt that their pod had become congested. Please move aside. I've no space to move. Even if I don't have any, it's stuffy in here. The pod had become too cramped to stay. Yes, I'm not able to sleep here anymore. Please make some space for me. I'm the smallest, but still finding it difficult to move. All of them were complaining and asking each other to move aside. Suddenly, the pea pod cracked open and a harsh light came in. Oh no! Who opened the pod? It's ridiculous. Why don't you let me sleep properly? Please close the pot again. Please, I can't even open my eyes. It's not possible now. Mother Nature has opened it. Wow, our pot has burst. Yay! I'm so happy. <laughs> After a few minutes, when they all got comfortable with the sunlight. They started a discussion. I think we've got a chance. What kind of a chance? A chance to go out and see the world out there. Do you think it's a good idea? I think the world out there could be dangerous for us. Why are we wasting our time discussing about the possibilities? I want to go out and see the different colors of the world. I want to enjoy the life outside this pod. You do whatever you want. I want to sleep for some more time. Let's give it a chance. Is leaving the pod a good idea? We've been here for a long time. We don't know the world outside. Let's go and enjoy our time, as we are free from this tiny pod now. They discussed it for a while. And decided to go out of the pea pod. They took this as an adventure and decided to go for it. One by one, they slid down from the pod. Hold the stem properly. I don't know where we'll be landing. Watch out! Catch me if you can. I hope I'll get some good place to sleep there. Where are you all? Don't leave me alone. It's slippery here. They landed on a furrow in a pea patch. They were very happy as they were exploring the world for the first time. Wow! 
It's so beautiful here. Yes, I'm happy to be here. It was a wise decision to leave the pod. I want to sleep. Find a good place for me. Hey, look. We were living on a branch too high from the ground. As they were discussing about the new world they were seeing, a boy passing by saw them. Aha! Uh -huh. These peas seem to be perfect for my slingshot. I should pick them up right now. The boy picked up all of them one by one. The first pea flew far away in the sky, while the other peas couldn't even see. Oh, I'm going to die! Then, the boy flew away the second, third, and fourth with his slingshot. Somebody please help me! I don't know where I'm going to land! This boy is killing us for the sake of his fun. I wish to fall at a pace where I can sleep without any disturbance. Then flew the youngest pea. Wow, I'm flying in the clouds like a butterfly. Oh, my destiny. Take me to a place where I can have a great life. The youngest pea landed on a windowsill. Oh, thankfully, I've landed safe. As he gazed through the window, he saw a little girl lying in the bed. She was unwell and coughing continuously. Her mother was asking her to eat. Please have some soup, dear. It'll give you the strength to fight with the disease. <coughs> Sorry, mother. I don't feel like eating anymore. <coughs> if you don't eat, how will you become strong and healthy again? The pea saw that the mother was trying to feed the little girl, but the girl was too ill to eat. The mother seemed very worried for the girl. At night, when the girl fell asleep, her mother prayed for her. Please help my child to recover from this illness. I can't see her suffering anymore. Bless her with good health, please. I beg you for my daughter's life. <laughs> The pea, too, felt sad for the mother and her daughter. Late at night, the pea entered into the room through the window. With the full moon in the sky, the pea sang a song with the drums for the girl. Bang, 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 listen what I sang. Bang, 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 listen what I sang. Who is it? <coughs> I heard some sound right now. Who is it? <coughs> It's me. I'm here, in the window. Are you speaking? I've never seen a pea speak. I can sing too. I was singing a song for you, with the moon's drums. Moon's drums? Yes, the moon plays the drums when he is full. But I can't hear it. You must be a special pea. Everybody in this world is special, and everything has some music within. We just have to concentrate and listen to it. You mean to say I can listen to the moon's drums? Is this possible? Everything is possible in this world. Oh, yes. I can listen to the drums. Didn't I tell you that everything is possible? No. One thing which is not possible for me. What's that? I won't be cured from this illness. Oh, don't say that. What if I become something other than a pea? Then you also can be better again. But you are only a pea. What else can you become? Of course I can. Believe in yourself, and you can do anything. If I become something else, would you believe that you'll get cured? <laughs> okay, I will. The next morning, when the girl woke up, she remembered the conversation with the pea. She looked for the pea in the window, but he was not there. Oh, maybe it was a dream. How can a pea speak? 
She went to the window and looked at the fresh sunny morning out there. It's beautiful out there. As the pea said, can't I believe that I'll be cured? I think I will get better. The youngest pea was trying hard to keep his word. He stayed outside the window and got himself wrapped in the dust for a few days. Later, when the winter arrived, the dust helped him to survive through the snow. Every day he was pushing himself towards his goal. If I bear through these circumstances for a few more days, I think I can achieve my goal. I'll try harder to keep my promise. The youngest pea survived through the winter with his strong willpower. The season changed and the small pea sprouted. He transformed into a plant with some branches and a couple of beautiful flowers. One day, the girl's mother noticed the beautiful sprouted pea plant outside the window. Look, dear, it's a pea sprout at our windowsill. Oh, wow! How did it grow here? He kept his promise, mother. He, he's kept his promise. What? Who kept his promise? The pea. He became a pea sprout. Now I believe that I can be cured. If a pea can change his life, why not me? Yes, my child. Of course, you will be better soon. The girl smiled at the pea sprout. Her mother thanked the pea sprout and took care of it. <laughs>